Anybody else notice how in the news there just seems to be this huge push for World War III? Why? I mean, seriously, does anybody really think that we need world war anymore for anything? Okay, I have um, a vinyl update. Yesterday I put some records in um, a local store uh, just one store, Almost Music. I'm going to wait to do it with Homer's. And I had credit uh, from some records sold already. And uh, I could have taken the money, but I really was itching for some vinyl. So I went ahead and did a trade and I got <clears throat> two records yesterday. And I won't play any music so that we don't have to worry about getting banned or any of that shit. I got the Four Men with Beards reissue of Bill Fay. And this is wonderful. Especially love the side one. I know the words are very significant, but the feeling of the music and the sound of his voice is enough for me. It's got this see, it's like um Tim Guthrie said I'm full of contradictions, we all are. Uh, that's just the nature of the beast. It's like there's a lot of music that's like Bill Fay that I won't give the time of day. I can't tell you. All I know is when I hear it and feel it, whether or not it resonates. Bill Fay resonates. This is really, really good. The other album that I got, um, I just got two, was this this compilation called Cosmic Machine of French um, avant-garde and electronic music, 1970 to 1980. And this is wonderful. This is killer. I've played this all the way through, all the way through a couple times. It has Serge Gensborg on it, Space Art, Patrick Juve, DJ Marwani, Droids, Jean Michael Jarre, The Atomic Crocus, Jean Jacques Perry. It's excellent. I mean, Pressed in Germany, really nice pressing. They're really happy to have this. While I was at the store <clears throat> at Almost Music, Alex McManus came in. Um, Alex McManus is a name that some of you might know. He's played with Big Chestnut, Simon Joyner, he had a band called the Bruces, and he might be best known for being in the band Lamb Chop. Well, he and his family are moving, dang it, to Vancouver. So he was bringing stuff in to sell. But he gave me uh, one of his albums, The Bruces, Family Day, while he was there. And I appreciate this. Um, Alex is also someone that I worked with. When Alex was just a teen, I tried to start a band with him and an, a, a local artist named Mimi Schneider. We actually rehearsed in this room for a while, and I don't know why that didn't happen. Probably, um, I would I would think it would be style, probably style. But I really appreciate this. I've only listened to a little bit of the Bruce's, and the main thing I can say about this is that it's very heartfelt. Alex sings his guts out on this. You can sing, you can hear where he's singing with a lot of feeling and. Sometimes these records strike me as mating calls. That's not an insult. That just it just seems that that's what the purpose is, really, for a lot of people is and making music, trying to meet somebody, and that's fine. That's fine. That's definitely not what I'm trying to do with my music. I'm not making mating calls. I'm just making music, I'm trying to create a world I can live in. Some other records sitting out that. Uh, well, I, it actually got played. I played One Side of New Blood by Peter Gabriel. Um, Downside Up on here is beautiful. Beautiful version. I listened to some more jazz, kind of cheese jazz, but this is good. Lonesome Cat by Kazumichi... Uh, so, uh, wait a minute. Watanabe. Kazumi Watanabe, yeah. Now this is more good than bad. In other words, it's like there's a few cheesy tunes. This album is better than the cover. I, I like I like good graphics, and this to me is like 
Who thought that was a good cover? <laughs> Just pardon me. <laughs> Who thought that was a good looking cover? I didn't play this, but someone was talking about the band Gypsy online, so I pulled these to just show that I knew about the band Gypsy. James Walsh, Minnesota band, I believe. They're from Minnesota. This is good stuff. Not, not major, like mind-blowing, but just good. Good band. And um, sorry about getting banned yesterday in certain countries. Probably Germany, I got banned because I was playing can. Fantastic, fantastic band, Ken. Um, I'm going to keep this one short. Uh, I know people like long videos, but um, the main thing that's on my mind still is um, business right now. Flyover, my new album, is selling well. Uh, I just got it Tuesday. I've already sold 130 copies out of 500. I also want to thank New Zealand besides <clears throat> uh, when I say when I said Australia I also meant New Zealand I've gotten quite a few orders from New Zealand this morning I wake up and I get a bunch of orders from Ireland Wow what's you, are you guys kind of working together thank you I, I appreciate everyone but the thing that is so comforting and um, rewarding is the fact that people are willing to pay the the ridiculous postage worldwide to get my music you actually have to pay more for the postage than you do for the record and people are doing it and you honor me and once again I can't wait for people to start receiving their records in the next few days because I know that a lot of people have not really listened to this once you listen to this you'll see there's a lot here and this is good I made a good package I'll mention it once. Um, yesterday, I took some records to <laughs> to the Goodwill warehouse, where a friend of mine um, uh, does a lot of um, hunting for stuff. And then a friend of his works there. And Gonzalo noticed that we, damn it, we made a mistake. You know, I try my best not to make any mistakes, but we did. There's two R's in Derek on the spine. I missed it, but it's minor, and it's, it won't be fixed because of all things to miss, they made a foil stamper so it's permanent, you know what I'm saying, I have to get a new stamper to get it redone correctly if I were to make another run of the records, but that's $500 alone just for the stamper for the silver foil. Um, I really try hard to not make mistakes, but that's one in my excitement, you know. And it's not the first time I've made a typo. I've done pretty good on the albums, but on my CDs in the past, I've made some typos. Where it's like I'm looking at it, and I'm thinking I'm seeing it. And it's like I'm looking at it, and it's like I was looking, I look at it, and it's it's not registering, but something's not right. There's two R's. Well, minor. Still. This is, it's good. It's not just uh, fun. This is, this is damned good. It's one of those perception things I was talking about. If you actually listen to the record, you know it's more than fun. It's, it's damned good. One of the best records to come out this year.